Hi everybody, I'm Serge K. Kinembi and thanks for joining me for the weekly US market report. Time to trade the markets, the week ahead, perspectives and analysis. This is for the trading week beginning on Monday, September the 18th until Friday, September the uh, uh, 22nd of 2017. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have a look at the economic calendar. Next, we're going to have a look at some news concerning the markets. And then we're going to have a look at the S&P 500, 500 uh, sectors map. Next, we're going to do some uh, technical analysis and price action. And next, we're going to finish with some uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, analyzing, uh, charting, a price action and we're gonna have a look at uh, crypto uh, currencies ranking okay so now let's begin and here we uh, you have uh, finally my page www.jctream.com my solutions that i offer over here in europe uh, you already know that i'm a ib an introducer broker and also i'm working in the uh, precious metals industry so i offer a couple of uh, solutions over here so feel free to come to my web page uh, to see what i'm offering and stuff like that so we're gonna come back to this later at the end of the uh, broadcast so first of all let's begin and let's jump right into it over here now let's begin with the uh, economic calendar now let's go to the uh, greater impact uh, that I release and first of all you see over here on Monday September the 18th of 2017 we have the uh, BOE that's the Bank of England um, the governor Mr. Mark Carney is gonna give a speech after what happened uh, last week so that's uh, his uh, following speech about the monetary policy over here uh, next day that's uh, Tuesday September the uh, 19th of uh, 2017 over here we are going to australia for the aba meeting minutes that's the uh, reserve bank of australia meeting minutes and next in germany we have the zoo economic sentiment index for september and on wednesday september the uh, 20th what do we have uh, we have in japan the uh, balance of trade from august and we are expecting a surplus since you know that Japan is an export, uh, exporting countries, and next in the US we have existing home sales from August. Next, the uh, Fed interest rate decision. The rate is gonna remain unchanged, as you can see for the uh, the, the previous. We are at 1.55 percent. The consensus is one. 1.55 percent. The forecast remain unchanged at 1.55. Uh, 25 excuse me 25 percent and next we're going to have the fomc economic uh, projection that's your federal open markets committee at the fed and next we're going to have a federal reserve press conference and at the same time at the ecb we're going to have a non-monetary policy meeting so for you traders watch out for the dollar and all the major crosses and here ECB, watch out for the uh, euro dollar, and over here for the, um, the US dollar Japanese yen. Okay, but um, if nothing is gonna happen, so things are gonna remain unchanged. Okay, so that's it for the uh, economic calendar. Next, let's have a look at some news over here at marketsbusinessinsider.com. And now the market, you see uh, the, uh, the major indices are up, uh, jumping at all-time highs levels. And we are back at above 22K for the Dow, at 2,500 for the uh, S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100, uh, close to 6,000 points. Okay. Now, over here, what's happening? You see the Fed is getting ready for its biggest meeting of the year. We're expecting two hikes, but you see for September, the, the forecast is, uh, is flat, so they're going to they're gonna do nothing um, this month of September. But we are expecting a uh, balance sheet unwinding uh, starting a, uh, October the 1st of 2017 and a rate hike in December by 25 basis points maybe so let's see what's gonna happen 
and over here an invection ledger and could enable the bull market at uh, every turn says betting on the VIX is a quick way to lose money and over here what do we have Tesla against all odds Tesla is still in business over here so an article on Tesla so for you guys watching Tesla Tesla is going up the stock is going up so take a look at that over here uh, talking about ICOs, crazy ICOs was driven by Bitcoin millionaires who need to diversify but don't want to pay tax. Over here, this is the uh, $60 wireless charger all Apple prefers for the iPhone X and iPhone 8. Uh, it's for Apple. So over here, remember, Apple just released uh, three new phones. A lot of things going on with the company and still the uh, stock price isn't rising but you see uh, Wall Street and analyst, uh, analysts are giving the stock uh, close to a hundred and seventy dollars uh, so I'm gonna see a great increase and a, uh, we are in a bullish uh, sentiment for the, the company now we are trading like in sideways uh, but we are going nowhere and we have major resistance uh, above uh, 160 dollars and so now 160 dollars and now we're expecting uh, to see a a apple uh, share price share price to go and to rise above that particular resistance level and over here best performance stocks you see apple right here and worst performing stocks you see over here Home Depot, Goldman Sachs, you see some of the uh, financials, Pfizer and General Electric. Over here Google.com was created 20 years ago. Here's what it looked like, here's what it looked like when it first launched on the uh, Nasdaq. Over here we have Google, one more time Tesla and now what do we have over here? Amazon. Okay commodities what's happening with the uh, commodities you see over here crude oil just eat $50 for the first time in five weeks so now crude oil is back at $50 a barrel so let's see what's gonna happen and over here more things to more um, talk about Apple now let's jump in currencies remember what we saw earlier about uh, all the a major uh, macroeconomic uh, data release and over here you see the currencies in good shape uh, euro uh, pound over here us dollar and over here what do we have a dollar ruble is flat and uh, cryptocurrencies bitcoin usd going down and ethereum usd going down so that's it and over here crazy ICOs is driven by bitcoin millionaires who need to diversify but don't want to pay taxes we just uh, saw that earlier and over here china's economy is in a groundhog day and remember the uh, particular news about bitcoin and china so when you're going to analyze the cryptocurrencies we're going to have a look at that and over here uh, Deutsche bank the dollar and the euro and the euro are all about politics and that's true and over here the bonds the bond markets janet jelen writes and man is hanging up his boots mr fisher just resigned from his uh, uh position at the uh, new york fed new york's fed and over here we have uh, mr lord blankfein ceo of goldman sachs goldman sachs has a plan for its um uh, Miss firing bond business and over here mr gary cohen is mr steve mnuchin trump is reportedly unlikely to consider nominating uh, gary cohen as the next fed chair so let's see what's happening over there okay now over here etf or oh, maybe mr cohen now is gonna take uh, the place of mr fisher over here who knows and over here etf the most traded and over here about uh, hedge funds one graphic explains everything going on in money management right now and over here middle class americans made more money last year than ever before and what else and that's it okay so that's it for the news remember apple amazon tesla uh, cryptocurrencies uh, fiat money and what else uh, uh, federal reserve 
and what else oil at fifty dollars a barrel and that's it for the uh, major parts so now oh what's happening here let's refresh the page now let's have a look at the s p 500 sectors map and over here what do we have let's see everything is in green green for technology except for oracle and whoops wait a second what's that okay excuse me <laughs> refresh okay that's better so everything in green technology except for oracle and google services everything in green ex except for uh, comcast and home depot over here and cable te television for charter communication and restaurants bad week for mcdonald's corporation and bad week for young brands basic materials with oil going up everything is in green healthcare that's a 50 50 a bad week here in the biotechnology uh, industry, bad week for uh, Gilead Sciences, bad week for Illumina, bad week for Insights Corporation, for Vertex Pharmaceuticals, and Biogene. And next, utilities, bad week for utilities, industrial goods, great week, everything in green, consumer goods, great week, except for Coca-Cola for the beverage industry and soft, drink, soft drinks, bad week for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh here in the cigarette industry a uh, bad week for philip morris and also in the uh, food bad week for the craft and uh, company financials everything in green except here for the insurance brokers industrials and uh, residentials everything green 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 okay see great week over here for bank of america for the money center banks great week over uh, over there for them and also a good week for uh, the investment banking and brokers okay so that's it now let's have a look at uh, e at the etf the us indices and over here you see major indices everything in green leverage in green the inverted all in red so that's correct so, uh, large cap in green mid cap in green small caps in green volatility the xiv everything in green the inverted the vix over here in red so that's correct all the sectors in green except for healthcare and utilities over here international everything in green global the miners everything in red so what's the conclusion money is going out of the uh, bond market over here it's going out of the commodities safe havens and now that the, your fixed income and your uh, hard assets as gold and silver and now money is going back towards the uh, stock market you see over here the gld and the slv are down crude oil is up so the uso is up okay and over here technology you see hack where is hack for the cyber security you see after the equifax scandal you see hack in over here hack at thirty dollars and hack in green also okay so shout out to dex the algo capitalist who was uh, the only one i heard uh i first heard talking about hack and he said he nailed it uh, every time hack reaches thirty dollars we see a major uh, attack so once again dex thanks to you okay so that's it now let's move on and now let's go to the charts and first of all we're gonna begin with the dow jones industrial average okay excuse me okay 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 So let's charge the uh, charts, my charts presets, and let's begin. Okay, not now. Okay, so that's for the cryptocurrencies, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a look at cryptocurrencies later. Now, 
let's begin with the stock markets and first of all Dow Jones industrial average as you all as you can see over here at the screen that's a huge 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 huge, huge bully, uh, bullish candle over here you see the top right here uh, it's 22k and 110 points and now we are at 22 1264 close to 65 points so here what can we expect for next week a continuation and that's it that's the only thing i can say we trade what we see now you see me i was expecting over here uh, to short the markets below the 13 weeks moving average in order to uh, go down but the one allowed the market to uh, to correct so you see interaction with uh, only uh, three moving averages that's your four weeks moving average over here your eight weeks moving average and that's your 13 week moving average and once the interaction is done boom markets going all going back up okay so now what i'm expecting i'm expecting more moves towards the upside so it's gonna be something like that you see if i take the this like that and this like that you see over here Bam. and now if that's green now i'm taking this this that boom over here boom so that's what i'm expecting so over here what can you see you can clearly see that now the market is going on to 22 okay uh, 22 thousand and five hundred points okay so that's it over here twenty two thousand and five hundred points that's it so that's your next move so now i'm expecting the markets to go that high so we're gonna look to buy the market above 22,300 points so that's it okay now nasdaq 100 and the x let's have a look here what's happening with the ndx and the x and the x nasdaq 100 and over here let's have a look at the technicals and also the price action Boom. let's zoom in okay that's perfect okay you see some type of you are uptrending that's your support resistance support now we're going back to the resistance but we have a major resistance over here at 6,000 points and in order for us to reach our target and our target is uh, 6,000 uh, 6,100 points over here 6,120 so now we need to close above uh, 6,000 points and from there a continuation. As you see now we are rejecting. That's uh, too shy. You see, we need, we need more steam, we need more power to go above that particular level and to break that resistance. Okay, so but uh, now that's a kind of uh, ascending triangle over here and uh, also that's a red up and also uh, what i'm seeing here that's a bullish flag and now we are just expecting the market uh, to continue to rally up and to break uh, 6000 points for the nasdaq 100 okay but be cautious because we have a lot of uh, great uh, data release so maybe we can see some uh, sideways movements and uh, yeah sideways movement inside week candles as of uh, right now and then boom we can pop pop up higher okay so now let's continue nasdaq 100 and now the smp 500 boom that's your smp 500 and here let's zoom in a little bit let's amplify the chart and let's zoom in and here exactly the same thing you see we are uptrending over here you see the resistance the uh, 21 weeks moving average acting as a uh, support over here 
you see that's your resistance and now the resistance was uh, 2480 break above 2480 now close at right at 2500 points with a huge gap up over here we have one gap two gap and now i'm expecting the nasdaq 100 to do the to do the exact same thing so we are expecting the nasdaq if the nasdaq 100 uh, breaks above 6000 points in the next week so we're gonna see a major rally huge rally over here and my next target for next week is for the s p 500 to reach uh, uh, 2520 uh, over here okay so i'm expecting a continuation almost for one more week okay so that's it for your s p 500 bullish sentiment still in the uptrend still uptrending and that's it so now uh, let's move on and let's analyze the vix volatility index okay vix over here volatility index and you see the volatility is still low huge spikes and over here all the majors and all the moving averages acting as resistance pushing the VIX uh, to uh, that lower range over here that to the the uh, particular lower mark at uh, between 10 points and 950 over here so uh, as you can see very very bearish on the VIX but the VIX is gonna remain in this particular range between 950 and 12 points so be careful because we have a, a bearish gap over here so we can have a lot of spikes and a lot of uh, volatility during the week but overall the week's gonna remain low almost for uh, another week but also take a closer look we are still in that particular uh, inside week candle you see in that inner fluctuation of that huge uh, bullish candle but uh, that bullish moments here for the VIX was cancelled by all those the all or by all of the first of all by these two uh, bearish bars and now we are in that inside week type of candle with that bearish bar also but be cautious because over here we have a bearish gap okay so that's it for the vix i um, see the vix remaining low but with spikes and huge uh, violent uh, price fluctuations okay now let's have a look at the xiv xiv and that's your xiv exactly uh, i'm also bullish on the xiv first of all you see over here uh, was bearish because of the 50 percent of that particular bearish candle we were uh, trading below that particular mark over here below 84 dollars but you see now we're gain, gaining momentum bullish momentum and over here bam we have a close above that particular mark 84 dollars and now we are moving back towards 90 dollars and moving back higher we are still in the inside week candle for one two three four five weeks but next week if we continue to go to uptrend if you continue that uh, particular uptrending uh, momentum go and have a close closer to the 95 96 we're gonna cancel that particular uh, bearish candle over here and we are going back to the uh, 100 mark so that's my price target for the uh, xiv hundred dollars over here so now if next week we have a close at those record high those historical highs over here at 95.50 95.80 and we managed to break above the resistance at 95.80 95.75 so <laughs> the xiv is gonna rally again and go much 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 higher okay now let's continue let's move on let's have a look at the small caps now the russell 2000 russell 2000 small caps 
and that's your Russell 2000 see exactly the same thing here that's a perfect cup and handle that's a perfect good morning pattern now we are back we are back at the resistance you see huge sideways movements over here let's zoom in let's amplify you see over here you see the triangle ascending triangle boom break below the support now we are we are back up you see over here that's your four weeks moving average a close above and boom back up bullish flag over here boom back up convergence of the four weeks moving average with the 21 weeks moving average here in black eight weeks moving average over here 26 uh, 21 weeks moving average that's your 26 and uh, that's your 21 weeks moving average and now point of convergence with the 13 weeks moving average and we remain bullish and that's gonna push prices higher and push the small caps result to thousand higher and now what we need we need to uh, seek after a close above uh, which 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 level over here above 14 yeah 1435 and next break above the uh, resistance of uh, 1440 and free rate towards uh, 1450 and higher uh, prices for the uh, Russell 2000 okay so Russell 2000 bullish okay but be cautious because we are we are approaching a, a critical resistance over here and we failed two time one time over here you see the long tails the uh, long shadows two times here that's a tweezer top rejecting so confirmation for that particular resistance a complicated one very very critical level and now we need a close above that and remember over here that's also a huge gap you see over here the close and then boom huge gap up and we also have another gap up over here so we have two bearish gap okay and now Russell 2000 let's move on to the bond market first of all uh, let's deal with the uh, 10 year treasury notes oh no excuse me right fingers mm, okay this one and let's see you see over here the fact that now the uh, market the stock market is rally, rallying again you see gap down boom lose momentum change sides bearish reversal and now we are going back down you see that's a key resistance at 128 you see over here that's your 208 week moving average over here in green four weeks moving average eight weeks moving average and boom going back down to retest our 52 weeks moving average in convergence with the 13 weeks moving average 21 weeks moving average and 26 weeks moving average and also to retest that particular uh, channels support over here so now if the uh, stock market is continuing to rally what can we expect for next week next week we can expect more bearish sentiment and a continuation and we can expect to see something like this you see going down because we need three see a two bars you see over here once we reach a resistance two bars to the downside over here that's a gap a boom if you see over here boom you see over here resistance one for the cancellation and next one two you see over here nothing happened but here that's a strong a very very uh this is a very very that's a bearish uh confirmation candle so we need a continuation another one okay so i'm expecting continuation okay so now let's move on and now let's have a look at the um, everything with Earth. 
because I'm not looking at that. Okay, you the treasury bonds, the 30 year treasury bonds. Okay, futures over here, and you see exactly the same thing. You see over here your bullish channel, you see connecting one, two, three resistance and pivot points, and over here one and two supports. You see that's your inner channel over here, but you see above the four weeks moving average over here what do we have we have that's our 104 weeks moving average and over here in pink that's your 52 weeks moving average and that's your 208 weeks moving average you see now boom i was expecting a continuation we rejected uh the the uh, 159 160 uh, dollars and now get down boom over here close below the four weeks moving average interaction with the eight weeks moving average came back up to close at 156.31 uh, and now i'm expecting more moves towards the downside as of uh, as we saw or we as we just saw right now with the uh 10 years treasury notes okay and remember, if we, if over here we have lower bond prices and lower treasury notes prices, that means a higher yield in the other side. The yields are up. And expect yields to continue to go up next week. Okay, and now let's finish with the Dixie, the US dollar index. And let's see what's happening over here. You see over here that's a huge uh, bearish sentiment, huge sell-off, and here maybe that's just a inside week candle. We are here at a critical level. You see, we're trying to go up and to have a close. Uh, let me amplify. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we managed to go over here you see that's a convergence point that's your 208 week moving average over here that's your four week moving average convergence you see right above the 50 percent mark of that particular uh, bearish candle over here we came right back up and the inception point of that uh, bearish can candle rejection more than 50 percent rejection and now we are here so that's a, a bearish flag so what can we expect for next week inside week candle and bearish flag we can expect another leg down or sideways movement because here that's a critical level you see over here 91 points and 92 uh, 80 that's a very 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 uh, critical point and if you if we manage uh, to lose that uh, probability of gaining back momentum and uh, coming back stronger and going up we're gonna go down and in free fall and next target is the 88 dollars 8840 but first of all we have the uh, psychology uh, psychological level of 90 and if we lose that particular 90 mark but we're gonna go much lower and very very quickly you see because we have no uh, resistance no key resistance over here the only uh, spots remaining if you take a look at the uh, monthly charts you're gonna see what i'm talking about that's your monthly charts you see over here pivot points over here one and two at 90 91 50 92 but you see next we don't have any a uh, major resistance here over here we have some spikes over here but that's not a key level so it's close the only levels we close it's here at 88 we have a spike over here pivot point spike in that particular uh, bearish uh, downtrending sentiment over here but now we are going back up we are still bullish but if we manage to go below the 208 week moving average over here that's your 90 mark 
if you manage to go below that level yeah and then you, we can talk about a, a very a bearish market for uh, the us dollar and also notice that over here that's your 52 months that's your 208 month because we are in a monthly chart over here and that's your 104 months over here everything now is in monthly okay and the uh the only moving average closer to the point where we are that's your four we uh, four months moving average here in sky blue you see you see over here that particular uh support over here boom now we are going much 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 lower so target 90 dollars and next 88 dollars 86 dollars okay you see 90 to 88 in weekly but in monthly that's 90 dollars and next over here 85 okay so that's it for the us dollar and now let's continue over here us dollar let's continue and now let's go and have a look at some commodities okay let's do first of all let's begin with the crude oil remember with the news we saw crude oil rising up reaching 50 dollars a barrel and now we are very 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 bullish you see over here that huge uh, trading range we're trading horizontal you see between supports over here at 41 resistance at 54 and now you're back at uh, 40, uh, 42, 43 dollars a barrel, and now we managed to go to came, to go back higher at 50 dollars, a key a key resistance uh, level. So now let's analyze the price action. Okay, you see over here our downtrend bearish channel over here. We break above the resistance to go higher you see over here that pivot point that's a resistance level at 50 dollars a barrel a psychological one over here correction now here supports pivot points at 47 dollars a barrel now that huge point over here strong uh, bullish candle a decision one back at uh, 50 dollars a barrel just a uh, slightly below that particular level so now what I'm expecting, I'm expecting a continuation. You see over here, that's your A, B, C over here, pivot points, and now a D. So now I'm expecting the uh, crude oil to go back towards $53 a barrel and in a space, in space horizon of two to four weeks, let's say a month. So by mid-October, we're gonna have to be closer to 53 dollars a barrel for the crude oil okay so expect more moves towards the uh, upside and to break above that particular uh, psychological level of resistance here at 50 dollars a barrel so we need to manage to close above 50 50 and closer much closer uh, to 51 dollars a barrel for the crude oil sweet wti okay so now let's move on and let's have a look at uh, precious metals first of all let's begin with gold gc gold futures and over here what can we see you see remember that spike in gold towards 1365 you see over here gap up you see two weeks later what's happening we filled that particular gap interaction over here with the four weeks moving average that's a uh, type of uh, bullish uh, flag over here you see we are uptrending that's a step stairs pattern step stairs bullish pattern we are above the thirteen hundred dollars mark so now we can retest that level as a support and bounce back from there and bounce back up from there and over here we have our eight weeks moving average just at thirteen hundred dollars level 
and you see what I'm expecting. Me, I'm expecting a retest. We all uh, we already uh, filled the gap over here. Now we need interaction maybe in two to three weeks. So let's say over here, mid October. Okay, and next we're gonna see the in an interaction with the eight weeks. Uh, moving average and the 13 week moving average uh, by then is going to be around uh, 1300 also and then we have to manage a close above the four weeks moving average F and wait for a bullish a buy opportunity signal and confirmation for the markets to go back up so we have a range once we're going to be below that particular range we're going to have a range with 13 dollars as a support and 13 20 as a resistance and then we're going to go sideways and wait to see uh, a particular uh, buy opportunity by signal you're expecting confirmation at that point and that's your a b c over here critical pivot points at 1300 and next we're gonna go and look for a D point over here at 1430 yes my friends you heard that well fourteen hundred dollars for a uh, troy ounce one troy ounce of gold that's my price target but first of all we need that correction over here and let's see what's going to happen over here that's a key level 1300 if we can handle that level and mark that level as a support and bounce back up from there first of all towards the 1350 close above that particular resistance level and then boom free rides and gold's gonna be unstoppable in its uh, uprising okay now silver excuse me I'm gonna drink a little bit <clears throat> excuse me okay now let's begin silver exactly the same thing exactly the same pattern we see over here gap up boom that's a bullish aisle over here we feel the gap interaction you see with the 208 week moving average four weeks moving average 52 weeks moving average at a convergence points right here at the 50 percent of that particular of that particular uh, bullish candle that's a bullish flag the same thing as same thing we saw here same thing here so that's your a b c d a b c d now a b c maybe you're going to retest the 52 weeks moving average as a support at 1732 and bounce back up from there first of all to uh, 18 dollars and next towards 18 60 dollars and then I hope that silver can manage to break above that particular resistance level and then go much higher towards $19 an ounce and $20 an ounce. So now expect a continuation in that particular, a continuation or sideways movement over here, but I'd rather see a continuation. That's probably what silver or uh, silver, uh, silver price is going to do, continuation. So expect another bearish bar over here. One more. To retest that particular level over here the 52 weeks moving average that's my target so i'm bearish uh, for silver but just for one week just for one week that's a shorter term uh, trading but it's not worth it i better uh, wait in the sidelines see what's gonna happen you see the same analysis we did for gold so expect the same thing to happen here with silver you see over here expect silver to do just let me draw it quickly for you expect silver to do this you see bam come here you see bounce here that's in red okay see expect silver to do just that come here bounce and from there boom going back up okay so that's it and this one chop okay so that's it for silver okay and now let's have a look at uh, cryptocurrencies 
and before going uh, to the uh, crypto space let's have a look at some news so now first we're gonna uh, upload download the BTC USD Bitfinex yeah that's the first one okay bam that's it okay so now let's have a look at some news some crypto news what's happening in the crypto space okay you see over here Bitcoin here India four hours ago India considers issuing its own Bitcoin like cryptocurrency as legal tender oh that's huge that's huge okay 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 over here emerging markets Japan's FCA approves coin checks Bitcoin exchange license or see and now Chinese investors to trade Bitcoin over the counter via telegram and remember what just uh, took place in China the shutdown of all the exchanges and now you see countries like uh, South Korea and Japan and Singapore uh, having huge volume and people who were in business operating in uh, Bitcoin over the Bitcoin exchanges in China in the continent uh, continental side of China are now moving to uh, Hong Kong uh, Singapore uh, South Korea and Japan so uh, China is losing in my opinion okay uh, here after the boss calls a uh, Bitcoin a fraud you see uh, Jimmy Diamond JP Morgan buys the dip <laughs> see that's typical and we're gonna see that or in in a moment when we're gonna analyze the the charts over here altcoins bit stamp to introduce Bitcoin cash trading by the end of the month and now what's happening here uh, okay and what else ah yeah that's it you see one day you go uh, Beijing sets deadlines for Bitcoin exchanges customer to withdraw funds quickly and that's it you see so after that particular news that's what's happening now so now Bitcoin exchanges are moving towards Japan and India Singapore and Hong Kong okay so that's it for the news and now uh, let's have a look at the top 10 we're gonna only do the top 10 because it's there's too much coins take a look I didn't know this one edgeless didn't know that so that's a new crypto and now first of all knowing remaining at the first spot top spot for Bitcoin you see over here take a look at the pattern price charts for one week you see the same pattern except for uh, hedgeless but everything is dropping that huge drop you see here that's the dip and over from there boom came back up so number one Bitcoin over here see the market cap we were closer to 80 billion dollars and take a look now 60 billion dollars that's still huge but you see huge drop okay over here price you see now today everything is in red number two second spot for ethereum same thing number three litecoin same thing downside bitcoin cash bcc downside ripple going down omisego going down ethereum classic number seven going down dash number eight going down monero number nine going down a new entry in the top 10 edgeless also going down but you see uh, for the last week uh, that particular crypto was uh, uptrending so uh, is in a bullish sentiment for uh, edgeless okay so that's it for the top 10 and now let's have a look at here so here a lot to talk about so we're just gonna focus on two cryptos we're only gonna do Bitcoin versus the US dollar and Ethereum versus the US dollar so I can explain things and we can have a look at the technicals because over here something strange happened remember over here we just saw that JP Morgan uh, calls Bitcoin a fraud and let me uh, uh, see if I have that article over here Bloomberg mm, Bloomberg Bloomberg um, see let's go into Bloomberg and mm, let's put a sure search over here and I'm searching for Bitcoin mm, 
Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Well, let's say Bitcoin bubble. Let's see if that particular article is going to pop up. To see what Mr. Jimmy Diamond had to say. No, here topics Bitcoin. Okay, over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. No, we don't have the uh, particular article, but here we have a um, an an audio. No, that's not the thing I'm looking for. Me, I, I want the, I want the. Uh, mm, let's put on Jimmy. Demon, Jimmy Demon Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a fraud. Quotes. That's a quote from here. No, ah, it doesn't matter. You see, we already have the the article over here. But the point is this: you see, remember, Bitcoin rose towards five thousand, and next one week, two weeks, you see exactly the same thing. That's a take. The people are taking profits. That's a distribution. You see, we need to understand those phases distribution and uh, and accumulation let me draw it for for you very quickly you see over here the thing is this investors you see let's draw something like that 50 percent retracement and then boom like that and then boom and then going back up okay and let's say that we are uptrending like that and like that that's your supports over here and over here that's resistance okay so now what's happening at that particular level here distribution is taking place so we're going to see a retracement when distribution is taking place, that's just here, that's just investors taking profits. And that's it. What causes it? The cause is just they need just a good catalyst. That's it. And over here, that's in what we call an uh, accumulation see people over here are accumulating for the next leg up and from here we're going back first of all towards the resistance break above the resistance boom another and then what do we have we repeat exactly the same thing you see everything in here repeats from here to here and we repeat you see repeating exactly you're repeating exactly the same thing you see distribution accumulation so that's your a point your b point your c point and then from here to here you have your d point and then it's also repeating a b c over here and d much higher d over here over here d point you see that's it you need to understand that so when you see that rise in bitcoin bitcoin coming here what do we have first of all the first catalyst what was the first catalyst PBOC doing something next the shut of all exchanges and next what uh, what do we have we had uh, the uh, Jimmy Demon uh, uh, Jimmy Demon uh, speech and then boom in a rush people are selling but uh, also another article on zero edge than I saw uh, yesterday and also uh, was that guy Mr. Ken Shorjan was talking about that at the dailyeconomist.com 
you can check it out he, he uh, pointed out uh, some article talking about that and in ACC form uh, where uh, I uh, no, uh, don't know if he was an ACC form but uh, they saw that uh, someone posted a tweet, a tweet someone tweeted about it and uh, they took a, a screen picture screen uh, capturing picture and that shows that uh, JP Morgan uh, was buying uh, the dips so that's it so you see they create their own catalyst and now that Bitcoin is uh, fairly at a low price they can come back in they jump in and now they're gonna push it back towards 5,000 that so they're gonna have huge gains Bitcoin as you can see so that's good so now as you can see Bitcoin over here uh, reaches what in the hell Let's wait a moment I'm gonna put that in whoops well what's happening here mm, no excuse me so now well, excuse me sorry about that just wait a second so as I was uh, talking about see what took place was just a um, huge distribution that's a game people you need to understand the game oh no and over here i forgot you need to understand the game once you understand the game people uh, cannot fool you you need to analyze those things and to see uh, to know the, the to learn the, me the the mechanics behind uh, beyond the market you see so now let's btc usd so that's it btc usd okay over here okay so remember now over here what took place let's focus just on that particular area over here so no because we have supports level key supports level to look at okay over here so over here you see first uh, move up Bitcoin to 3000 distribution um, that's a can uh, we cancel the uh, uprise the uptrending that's a pause see with that huge doji and over here pam 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 you see pointer when we point boom it came back here interaction with the uh, key uh, moving averages 21 weeks here then accumulation phase boom going back up towards the resistance 3000 and then boom going back and then move we move higher you see the projection you see over here that's your a that's your b that's your c and that's your d you see from a thousand dollars to three thousand dollars that's a two thousand dollars move here we came back to two thousand dollars a fifty percent retracement at a two thousand dollars so two thousand dollars plus that move two thousand dollars plus two thousand dollars equals four thousand dollars and we made an extra one thousand dollars you see to see bitcoin at five thousand dollars but from there you see here from five thousand to three thousand you see that's a two thousand uh, dollars correction you see over here interaction and you see we're gonna expect we have to expect more moves towards to, uh, towards the downside because over here what we can see a huge convergence is gonna take place between the four weeks moving average and eight weeks moving average as of here and then we need a close at 13 weeks moving average and an interaction with the 21 week moving average and take a look huge volatility and you see over here when you see Bitcoin going down and just at three thousand dollars you see take a look over here that's three thousand dollars let me amplify and zoom in see three thousand dollars over here and three thousand dollars over here that's mathematical that's uh, that's precise and that kind of precision cannot be made by people rushing to sell their bitcoins that's not organic that's machined machine are doing that kind of a trade so precisely at three thousand points see over here three thousand dollars you see that's a bullish rejection candle a bullish reversal over here 
and take a look. That's too precise to be organic. People are selling and buying in a organic way, and that's not and that's not an organic way. So that's huge institutions, that's banking institutions, central banks, and stuff like that going on here with algorithms. They already knew what level they needed to crash the Bitcoin and to jump back in. Over here, that's your three thousand. Take a look, three thousand dollars over here. Support and last resistance was three thousand dollars exactly the same thing so you need to understand and to learn how to identify those uh, trends those movements and to know about the mechanism the mechanism of distribution and uh, accumulation taking profits and stuff like that price action resi uh, key technical levels and to analyze and to learn to in the right interpretation of uh, Catalyst because news are catalyst. You see, when you see news like that, you need to be ready to act. That's the reason why me, I'm just speculating with uh, cryptocurrencies. I don't own any. I have a few bitcoins uh, over there, uh, fractions of bitcoins uh, in a e wallet, and that's it. But I left it because I can. Uh, I'm, I'm a better speculator, and I don't like to uh, buy and hold. That's not for me you see that's not for me that's not my profile i have the my, my profile i have a profile of a speculator so me i speculate and over here in europe we have the advantage to have uh, cfds so we can trade uh, bitcoin uh, derivatives so i have bitcoin derivatives ethereum derivatives litecoin ripple everything you name it so i have it all litecoin dash uh, ethereum uh, bitcoin cash we have also a bitcoin mini so that's it so you see we can take advantage of that Okay, so that's it. So remember that. So now, what do we expect for next week? As you can see over here, I'm expecting more moves toward the downside. Bitcoin to reach over here. First of all, you see closer interaction with the 13 week moving average. So we need a close at that particular level at 3400. Next step, we need a close with a complete bar, not a shadow, a complete bar over here at $3,000. And from there, we're going to bounce back up. Because that's your A, B, C point. That's a key pivot point over here. And that particular candle over here and that long shadow, that long tail is acting as a pointer. Same as this one. You see? Point. Boom. Close. Around that particular level. And now pointer. Expect to see Bitcoin at $3,000. Those catalysts it's not, are not over yet. You're going to see more of them, more and more of them, okay? So be cautious of there, of there, excuse me, okay? So now, conclusion, Bitcoin, more sell-off. Or if you see in weight of that particular convergence point over here at $4,000, you can see sideways movement. But at the end of the day, boom, another leg down. And now, let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum, Bitfinex also. Okay, Ethereum, exactly the same thing. But with Ethereum, we had a double distribution. You see over here, move higher. That's your inception point. You see A to the B. And over here, distribution phase, accumulation, boom, distribution phase, part two. You see, that's a high, and that's a lower high, and over here, lower low. But I don't think so that we're going to have something like that. And over here, now we're going to have a pivot point that's a low and a lower high and then continue on. So from here, that's our new, uh, let's say that's our new uh, channel over here. So now me, I'm going to clone this one and do it like that. And since this one is interior, so boom, that's it. You see over here that A, B, C, and from here, what I'm expecting, I'm expecting to see Ethereum now at 500. But first of all, that's a second part, that's the second part of the res uh, distribution. You see over here, resistance, support, resistance. Now here, pivot point, that's our uh, next uh, pivot point and support over here. So 
it's gonna be A, B, C, and from here, boom, going back up, okay? But exactly the same thing, and to reach $500, okay? So remember, distribution, accumulation, and that's it. All we need is one key point for you guys over there who love the Fibonacci. When you see a resistance, a major pullback, like this one, 50% and more or more, that's your you look for the inception point so that's your a b c and just with that those three points you can just uh, make your projections and now what do we have me i had a free trade over here a free trade for what from here to here was simple because you know once you hit your c point your pivot point what do we have a buy opportunity we wait for confirmation confirmation remember that's a bullish candle a close above the four weeks moving average and then we enter above that point 255 255 to where here over here 400 dollars boom that's it and next if you see exactly the same pattern you see trees at top over here at resistance trees at top at resistance one candle boom but we expect all always three to four candles that's one candle of cancellation and then we enter over here at 50 percent of that big bar over here boom going towards the downside and now exactly the same thing see bullish candle indecision rejection cancellation we enter here 280 enter almost here but next we also have a look at the uh, moving averages in which direction are they pointing you see if the four weeks the moving the average is pointing down that's a bearish signal and then boom you sold and you hold it you sell short and you hold it boom until when i'm trying to look for here here what it is over here that's a pivot point that's a, a support level that's our target but also we trade in between of the moving averages that's our first target to see over here reach the 21 weeks moving average 26 week moving average and then boom going back up so maybe that's our pivot point and that's our key point for our A, B, C, looking for a D. Okay, if now I'm take this one and this one, I make this like that. And now a clone like that. And I take that like that. You see, that's going to take me here. See, first move, A, B, C, projection here. $450 okay but in the meantime now if this one is a pointer maybe this move can happen now so i'm also expecting to see that particular move okay so conclusion ethereum sideway movement expects if i'm seeing the four weeks moving average going down I'm expecting to go short over here at 230 my target 200 and maybe 170 okay and from here it bounces back up and going back up okay or maybe it can go lower to those levels 150 dollars so expect sideways movements and more moves toward the downside and if and if we have a buy signal go back up towards the channel's resistance first of all resistance at 400 and then channel's resistance okay that's it okay people thank you very much so that's it for our analysis and now you have here my webpage www.gcstream.com solution over here you click on the uh, um, British flag for your English uh, for your English speaking people and you have all of the uh, services and solutions that we offer over here in Europe I'm working with uh, big institutions in both in London and in Switzerland and also here in Spain so we provide uh, precious metals advice I'm an agent of a great uh, precious metals company from Switzerland and also here I'm a uh, in collaboration with Degusa Madrid and Degusa Switzerland and Degusa Germany also and so that's it our collaborators 
we have over here you pro rose the gusa i'm an ib introducer broker over here for those of you guys who want to have uh, e-wallets and uh, uh, debit cards with uh, your bitcoin and ethereum we have these particular companies really great uh, i use that i use uh, those services of rirex and over here also you can you have a lot of things we offer a lot of things so please feel free to send me a message over here or to call or whatsapp and call me at whatsapp uh, or viber i'm available 24 7 okay so thank you guys once again and see you next week okay enjoy your week and uh, have a wonderful trading week okay cheers have a good one bye